Well, new research shows the production of palm oil can be greatly increased without converting, converting additional land into agricultural production. Patricio Grassini with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln joins us now with the latest insight on that effort. And Patricio, thank you very much for your time this morning. Now, could you provide us a bit of background on palm oil and why it's so important? Good morning, Giant. I will be happy to give you some background. Uh, palm oil is a, a perennial crop grown in the tropical environments. Um, it's harvested every um, 10 to 15 days and the fruits are sent to a mill where the oil is extracted. And, and this oil is used to produce a wide array of products, including uh, cosmetics, by diesel and food. Uh, the demand for palm oil is very high and it is expected to increase in the future. Now, your research finds that palm oil production on existing ag land could be greatly increased. What are the implications of this? Well, the implications are huge, Janet, um, because Indonesia produces about two-thirds of the global palm oil production. And in the case of Indonesia, 50% of the area planted with oil palm is managed by smallholder farmers, which typically plant oil palm in only a few acres of, of land. And along those lines, our study shows that uh, productivity of existing plantation areas can be increased by 68%. And this can have two major implications for Indonesians. The first one is that the country can greatly improve the well-being of millions of smallholders across the archipelago. And the second implication is that we can help Indonesia to keep a high, highly biodiversity ecosystems such as rainforest and peatlands from being converted for oil palm cultivation. So what are the next steps to increasing production on the existing and ground that's available? Well, we are very excited about this second phase because we are now moving on in putting together a solutions agenda that can help farmers to raise the productivity of their existing plantations. Uh, our initial results shows that there are many things that farmers can do to improve their, their yields, including better harvest methods, better pruning, use of better planting material, and especially uh, pl uh, use of better nutrition. Uh, but perhaps, uh, Janet, what really excites me about this project is that we are working side by side with Indonesian researchers, policymakers, and NGO in trying to put together solutions that can help Indonesia as well as uh, other countries to reconcile their economic and environmental goals. And along those lines, uh, we are seeing now that our project is helping to raise the farmers' yields, and we expect more to come. All right. Well, thank you very much for your insight this morning, Professor. We appreciate it. UNL Associate Professor of Agronomy and Horticulture, Patricio Grassini, joining us, of course, from the Husker State this morning.